If you were to find yourself alone in a property with a client who indicated they wanted to harm you or rob you, what would you do? Would you put up a fight or try to escape? It isn't a pleasant thing to think about, but it's important to know your options. Remember, your primary goal in any incident is to escape from the danger and then call for help. When faced with threatening behavior, you should first try to find a discreet way of removing yourself from the situation. For example, you can say that you need to step outside to make a phone call and then don't come back inside. If a confrontation does occur, trust yourself and stay as calm as possible. Think rationally and evaluate your options. There are many strategies that are effective, but you must rely on your own judgment to choose the best one. One option is not to resist. Sometimes it may be safer to do what the attacker says. If someone tries to rob you, give up your property, not your life. Another tactic is to appear to go along with the attacker. This might give you time to assess the situation. When his guard is down, try to escape. Obviously, you should try to get away. But whether you can depends on many things, including your shoes and clothing, physical stamina, the terrain, and your proximity to your attacker. If someone is coming toward you, hold up your hands in front of you and yell stop or stay back. Criminals have been known to leave a victim alone if they yelled or showed that they were not afraid to fight back. If you decide to respond physically, remember that your first response should be to flee the area or the home. Act quickly and decisively to throw the attacker off guard while you get away. Your personal safety is your first priority. Be sure to make an effort to get an accurate description of your attacker. Even the smallest details can give authorities a clue to finding the suspect. We hope you are never in a situation that would cause you danger. Always remember to stay calm, think rationally, and trust your instincts. For more safety tips, visit the Realtor Toolbox on, on Sabor.com.